What is hematitization? Hematitization is a geological process that involves the transformation of iron-bearing minerals into hematite, which is a mineral that has the chemical formula Fe2O3. Hematite is a common mineral and is often found in sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous rocks. The process of hematitization can occur through a variety of mechanisms, including oxidation, hydrothermal alteration, and metamorphism. The process is typically driven by changes in temperature, pressure, and fluid composition, and can occur over a wide range of geological time scales. In many cases, hematitization occurs as a result of oxidation, which is the process of adding oxygen to a substance. When iron-bearing minerals are exposed to oxygen in the presence of water, they can undergo a chemical reaction that transforms them into hematite. This process is often associated with the weathering of rocks and can occur in a variety of settings, including soils, rivers, and ocean sediments. Another mechanism by which hematitization can occur is through hydrothermal alteration. This process involves the interaction of hot, mineral-rich fluids with rocks and can occur in a variety of geological settings, including volcanoes, hydrothermal vents, and geothermal systems. When iron-bearing minerals are exposed to these hot fluids, they can undergo a chemical reaction that transforms them into hematite. Metamorphism can also lead to hematitization, particularly in rocks that have been subjected to high temperatures and pressures. During metamorphism, the minerals in a rock can be transformed into new minerals as a result of changes in temperature, pressure, and fluid composition. When iron-bearing minerals are exposed to these conditions, they can be transformed into hematite. Hematitization has a number of important geological and industrial applications. The mineral is often used as an ore of iron and can be found in a variety of geological settings, including banded iron formations, which are some of the world's most important sources of iron. Hematite is also used as a pigment in paints, as a polishing compound, and as a gemstone. In summary, hematitization is a geological process that involves the transformation of iron-bearing minerals into hematite through a variety of mechanisms, including oxidation, hydrothermal alteration, and metamorphism. The process has important implications for the Earth's geology and can also be of significant economic and industrial importance. How does hematitization occur? Hematitization is a geological process that can occur through a variety of mechanisms. The most common mechanism by which hematitization occurs is through oxidation, which involves the addition of oxygen to iron-bearing minerals. This can occur in a variety of geological settings, including soils, rivers, and ocean sediments. When iron-bearing minerals are exposed to oxygen in the presence of water, they can undergo a chemical reaction that transforms them into hematite. This process typically occurs over long periods of time and can be influenced by a variety of factors, including temperature, pressure, and fluid composition. For example, the rate of hematitization can be accelerated in warmer and wetter environments. In addition to oxidation, hematitization can also occur through hydrothermal alteration. This process involves the interaction of hot, mineral-rich fluids with rocks and can occur in a variety of geological settings, including volcanoes, hydrothermal vents, and geothermal systems. When iron-bearing minerals are exposed to these hot fluids, they can undergo a chemical reaction that transforms them into hematite. Metamorphism can also lead to hematitization, particularly in rocks that have been subjected to high temperatures and pressures. During metamorphism, the minerals in a rock can be transformed into new minerals as a result of changes in temperature, pressure, and fluid composition. When iron-bearing minerals are exposed to these conditions, they can be transformed into hematite. Hematitization can also occur as a result of biological processes. For example, some bacteria are capable of oxidizing iron, which can lead to the formation of hematite. This process is often associated with iron-rich environments, such as bogs and marshes. 
Overall, the process of hematitization is complex and can occur through a variety of mechanisms. The specific mechanism by which hematitization occurs depends on a variety of factors, including the geological setting, the composition of the minerals involved, and the presence of fluids and microorganisms. The study of hematitization and its various mechanisms is an active area of research for geologists and other scientists who are interested in the Earth's geology and the processes that shape our planet. What are the hematitization processes? Hematitization is a geological process that can occur through several mechanisms, including oxidation, hydrothermal alteration, metamorphism, and biological processes. Oxidation is the most common mechanism by which hematitization occurs. This process involves the addition of oxygen to iron-bearing minerals. When iron minerals are exposed to oxygen in the presence of water, they can undergo a chemical reaction that transforms them into hematite. This process typically occurs over long periods of time and can be influenced by a variety of factors, including temperature, pressure, and fluid composition. Hydrothermal alteration is another mechanism by which hematitization can occur. This process involves the interaction of hot, mineral-rich fluids with rocks and can occur in a variety of geological settings, including volcanoes, hydrothermal vents, and geothermal systems. When iron-bearing minerals are exposed to these hot fluids, they can undergo a chemical reaction that transforms them into hematite. Hydrothermal alteration can occur over a wide range of temperatures and pressures and can lead to the formation of large deposits of hematite. Metamorphism can also lead to hematitization, particularly in rocks that have been subjected to high temperatures and pressures. During metamorphism, the minerals in a rock can be transformed into new minerals as a result of changes in temperature, pressure, and fluid composition. When iron-bearing minerals are exposed to these conditions, they can be transformed into hematite. Biological processes can also lead to hematitization. For example, some bacteria are capable of oxidizing iron, which can lead to the formation of hematite. This process is often associated with iron-rich environments, such as bogs and marshes. The specific mechanism by which hematitization occurs depends on a variety of factors, including the geological setting, the composition of the minerals involved, and the presence of fluids and microorganisms. The study of hematitization and its various mechanisms is an active area of research for geologists and other scientists who are interested in the Earth's geology and the processes that shape our planet. Overall, hematitization is an important geological process with a variety of practical applications. Hematite is a commonly used pigment in paints, and is also an important ore of iron. Understanding the mechanisms by which hematitization occurs is important for geologists and other scientists who are interested in exploring the Earth's geological history and identifying potential sources of valuable minerals. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.